Welcome back to the video series on SOD converter of Atmega 328P microcontroller. So in here we will discuss the free running mode of this particular microcontroller with an interrupt to detect the end of the conversion. So SOD converter output is the input voltage divided by reference voltage into the number of quantization levels in this case 1024 and we have 10 bit output so ad max register is used to set the channel selection so channel selection is done by the four least significant bits of the register and the reference voltage source selection is done by the two most significant bits of the ad max register <coughs> This in this particular example, we are using a ref bit or a ref pin as the reference voltage pin. So that is being set by setting zeros to both of these bits and you can choose any of the channel you want. So in this particular example, I am using channel 5. So this should be 0, 1, 0, 1 in the settings. So I am not going to tackle this ADLAR register. If I set this bit to 1, my result will be left aligned and if I set this bit to 0 my result will be right aligned so by default all our numbers are right aligned so I am not going to do anything with this and <coughs> regarding this ADCSRA register we have to set the ADEN bit to 1 to enable the A to D converter and set the two, 3 least significant bits to 1 1 1 to set the Prescaler to 128. So, in this case, we have to make sure the input frequency or the input clock to the LED converter is between 50 and 200 kilohertz as given in the data sheet. So, in order to do that, our clock speed of the microcontroller, which is 16 megahertz, has to be divided by 128 to make it to 125 kilohertz. So, if, if I do that, then it will be between 50 and 200 kilohertz. For that, I have to set these three bit to 1, 1, 1, which correspond to 128 prescaler. Sorry. Then, in order to enable the LED converter interrupt, I have to make this ADIE bit to 1. And to start the conversion, in the beginning, I have to set this ADSC bit to 1. So, now, in the previous examples, when we use a single conversion mode, so if we did not use the free running mode, every time we need the A to D conversion, we have to set this bit to 1 and either we have to we have to wait till this bit becomes 0 to identify the end of the conversion or we have to wait until the interrupt is triggering if I, if I enable the interrupt. So if the interrupt triggers, then I know the conversion is finished and I go to the interrupt service routine and read the result. But every time we need a a to D conversion, we have to make this bit to 1. But if we go to the free running mode, so in order to go to the free running mode, we have to see set this A date, e, A, D, A, T, E bit to 1. If I do that, we have to enable the conversion only once in the beginning of the code and after that, the microcontroller will keep on converting whatever the analog value at the particular channel, it will keep on converting whatever the value at the particular pin. So, with this, if I use an interrupt, whenever this <coughs> finishes a conversion, it will generate the interrupt. After it generates the interrupt, again, it will come back and keep on converting and once, once it finishes con the conversion, it will generate the interrupt. So, we do not have to keep making this ADSA bit to 1 every time we want to do a conversion. So, that is the advantage of this free running mode. So, in the free running mode, there is another uh, important register that we have to consider. So, in the free running mode, if, if I set the a to D converter to the free running mode, then this free running conversion can be start either automatically by the microcontroller or else we can 
define a particular source of input such that when that particular input becomes 0 to 1 or if it when it gives a rising edge this will start conversion right for that there are different input sources that we can use either the analog comparator external interrupt 0 and timer counter 0 compare register and count uh, timer 0 overflow register timer 1 compare register timer 1 overflow register likewise we, we can select many of the any of these <coughs> sorry input sources but here i'm using this free running mode which is 0 0 0 for these three bits that means i don't have to set any input source I, I just have to set this bit to 1 and set these 3 bits to 0 and the microcontroller will keep on converting the analog value to a digital value from the particular pin. Right? So I will go into the flowchart. So my flowchart will be configuration of the A2D converter to free running mode and enable the interrupt and set my uh, port data directions which is port D2 output and port B pin 5 to output and then I will start my A2D conversion in the beginning of the program then when I go into the loop I will keep on doing whatever I want I don't deal with the A2D converter anymore whenever this microcontroller converts an analog value to a digital value it will generate the interrupt so in, inside the interrupt service routine I am setting my port D to the A to D converter output and after do doing that I will come back here and keep on doing whatever I have been doing and whenever <coughs> a conversion finishes it will generate the interrupt I will go here set the port come back keep on doing whatever I was doing and again when a con conversion finishes it will generate the interrupt and likewise I will go in between the main program and the interrupt service routine so my configuration will be same as my single conversion uh, mode other than setting this A date bit of ADC SRA register and setting the three least significant bits of the ADC SCR B register to be zero right so enabling the A to D converter setting pre scaler 228 selecting A, A ref as the uh, reference voltage setting the A2D converter channel right, and enabling the interrupt and enabling the single conversion mode and since I have enabled the interrupt I have to enable the global interrupt as well. So inside the main program I will be blinking my LED. So just before coming into the main while loop I have to start the A2D converter conversion. Right? If I do not do this then the program will not start converting at all right so i have to do this at least once now my whole code would look like this as given in this particular slide right so there's nothing new here everything is what i have explained i have set my uh, clock speed of the microcontroller to 16 megahertz and here I have set the channel to 0 but in this example uh, I am using channel 5 but I will set the channel to 0 and also show you that it works with channel 0 as well. So here I am setting all the header files that I am needed and uh, my simulation setup will be the same as the sim what I have been using before. So in port B <coughs> I have attached for D I have attached 8 LEDs most significant LED is attached to the most significant bit, least significant LED is attached to the least significant bit of this port and I have attached an LED <coughs> to port B pin 5 just to blink the LED and potentiometer is used <coughs> sorry, to change the input voltage and input voltage 5 volts it attached to the reference voltage at ARF and this input is attached to the 0th pin here since the program is using the zero channel <coughs> but i will start off with channel 5 and come back to channel 0 later on ok 
okay now i'll be moving on to the simulation let me first okay i have set the channel to 5 here i'm building the program <coughs> building is completed <coughs> I'm going to the simulation select the file that I have viewed right now let's rerun x yeah time is correct <coughs> okay and I'm connected to channel 5 here okay. so run the simulation <coughs> I can now see already now this LED is flashing so this is representing 14 percent 14 percent is 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 this represents <coughs> 153 right this represents 153 so if i change this to 13 it will change right if i change it changes if i change it changes now this is let's say now this is 10 percent right 10 percent means 10 percent of 1024 is 102.4 so this should represent 102 let's see this is 64 64 plus 32 is 96 <coughs> sorry 96 96 plus uh, 96 plus 8 is 104 104 plus 2 is 106 here's 106 here uh, let me see what's the problem here uh, 64, 64 plus 32 is 96, 96 plus, uh, 96 plus 4, in fact, 96 plus 4 is uh, 100, 100, 100 plus 2 is 102. In fact, it should be 102 because it's 1024 divided by 10, 10 for 10 percent, that is 102.4, which should give 102, right? So now this value is correct it should give 102 now i stop this simulation and i'm going to go to change the channel to channel number zero right and i'm going to build the pro project and at the same time i'm going to go back to this simulation and attach this input to channel number zero now let me see if the build is complete build is completed now I'll go here and run the program. So this value is correct, right? 64 plus 32 to 96, 96 plus 6 is 102. If I take this to 14 percent, it should be 1 and this 1, right? So my value is correct. <coughs> now you can see this gives you an introduction to free running mode of Atmega 328P microcontroller used with an interrupt to identify the end of the conversion. Right. <coughs> so, thank you very much.